Well, everything I make ain't that great. But you guys rule with a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. Best. Uh, good morning. Mine up. Find a happy birthday from my hometown, Australia. It's your boy, Gucci Guilty. Back with that new forearm and ball thumb. Let's get started with today's butchering. Okay, the first one comes to us from Danica Moffat. I love this concept. I love this idea. I love how it's laid out. It's so fantastic. We just have some issues with like our lines lining up and are connecting things and some of the spacing and points of contention here. First off, I want to recreate the uh, logo on another level. So I'm just going to take the pen tool, come in here, go over what you did, make sure I'm making straight lines, and then we'll come down, bam, and then we'll beak him, yeah boy. And then we'll probably come straight, and then we're going to come all the way out here. Like so. Wow. I think we should lower the beak, our head, so it's a little bit here and an area that has more space. Let's put her duck to five as well. Thick. Thick boy time. That's right. Time to shine. All right, let's give our boy an eyeball, but just one. Just one. Okay, now I want to work with the font. Um, it's a little bit too thick for how small it is. So you can see they're starting to like overlap each other. So let's make it a lot bigger. And then I'm gonna bring down the width a little bit. Maybe let's keep it at two. Uh, mm -mm, maybe. I wanna lay it out because it's, it's, it's pretty tall, our logo is. I think we should stack these guys like a bookshelf. And then I'm gonna align it to this line here. I'm gonna do something a little bit fun that I think could be like a, a big part of the branding if you wanted it to, if you if you think this would be appropriate. I want to, <laughs> I wanna add on to, oh, it's the zoo, World Zoo Society. And then I'm actually gonna add a color. I'm gonna add like a, like a foresty, vibrant foresty green, like that. Okay, and then I'm also going to add it to our logo actually. <laughs> For my my version, I am going to get rid of the tree trunk. I think it still looks like a tree. I think it still looks like a duck. And um, now our society and the bottom of our tree is just a just a much cleaner line. So it makes kind of a easier to work with mark. So Danica, those are the changes I suggest for World Zoo Society. I think um, if we move the duck a little bit away from the top line of the tree here and the intersection here, we can just get a little bit more breathing room up on the top and the left. Um, if we make our World Zoo Society stacked, we can just make our whole logo a little bit more mm, boxed so that we don't have like some space here and here that will be a little bit difficult to work with. Um, and then we make sure that our World Zoo Society is a little bit more easy easy to read. And then I would just throw in a color. But um, all that being said, the actual base idea and concept I think works really well. Kudos, kudos to you, Danica. Some snap palm claps. Everyone, good job, Danica. All right, guys, let me know in the poll right now, whether we zoot it or boot it. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, let's venture on to number two. This one comes to us from Simon. Simon says, <laughs> he said this was a, uh, a, like just a practice logo. He was just practicing. So this is pretty cool. Okay, first off, I think our, our font, could live another day being a little bit more filled. So I might go semi bold, bold, black and yellow, black and yellow. Okay, so I think this shape is pretty good, but I might um, just use the actual A from Aerolite, be a little bit more of the size and shape that it should be for the A. Let's put them in the corner, perhaps. Nobody puts Aerolite in the corner. Oh my gosh. But I'd like to try another idea I have that. I think hopefully we'll make it a little bit more obvious that like it's an A and I think this might be interesting. So what I'd like to do is get rid of what I filled in here and then um, make our rocket a little bit bigger, longer, bigger like that here. I'm gonna try to make the left side of the A the rocket. 
the rocket boy. Imagine if you could expand on yourself. You could be like, object, expand, muscles. Boop, boop. Yeah, right. I'm already too muscular. If I expand my muscles, my house would explode. Okay, so then I want to, um, I'm just gonna get rid of the whole like left side of this A here. Bam, sorry, you're gone. Redundant, you've been made redundant. Ooh, okay, 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 I can see it. It's starting to look good. And then we'll bring these bad boys down to the line. I wonder if we could actually make the bottom of our things look a little bit more thin here. Maybe like that. That way it'll look more like, um, like it's taking off. I think it'll make our logo a little bit more dynamic as well. All right, Simon, that, so this is a direction I might uh, pursue. I think if we keep some of the A, it's just a lot more clear that it says arrow light rather than like the left thing being an icon and then it says ERO light. And then just the, the thickness of the, of the font, I think will help give it a little bit more. So let me know, design championess in the poll above. Whether we rocketed it or whether we schmocketed it. Thank you. And let's give Simon some smiling cheap claps. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Um, keep going, keep practicing. Really cool stuff. This one comes from Tayab Ayaz and uh, it looks like it. Yeah, it's a logo for a Twitch, Twitch streaming channel. Pretty cool work, my man. Uh, my only concern right now is just that it kind of feels like this is a logo on its own and this is a logo of its own. Probably I'm gonna fill in the uh, the spaces of the font so that we have like less, less visualness. That way we can just make the whole logo overall a little bit more clear. All right, boom, 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 bam. Um, I am going to fill in this top area with purple. So we have a kind of a nice cleaner top edge. Okay, we need to add some space up top and we need to add a little bit of space on the bottom. This guy needs to come out a little bit more. I gotta, I'm gonna expand this so I can fix the um, the N somewhat. We cleaned up the N a little bit. Now, um, I think our B and our N are not in the same, yeah, we gotta move this boy down. Okay, kill that line. Let's give it a little bit more space. One, two, one, one, two. Since we have to kind of incorporate it into this other thing, let's go ahead and let's get rid of uh, this swoopy thing here. Now let's replace what we lost. Okay, a lot better. If we fill in the controller and then just have the buttons as the other color. Okay, so now I wanna incorporate the noob into this. So what I wanna do is I wanna give this um, some purple outline, and then let's boom, 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 boom. Oh no, we lost down, or A, probably. Now I wanna shrink this down some. This might be one of the times where I round some corners, just because the bottom corners are rounded as well. Let's see if we can give a little bit of an outline here, and maybe black or white. You know what, I actually, I think I want the bottom of these to be straight. That would be way cooler, pretty sure. All right, yeah, I kinda dig it. I might want these guys to be bigger. More in the center of their circles. Okay, Tayab, so basically that's a, a direction I would suggest. My main motivation for that is just trying to figure out a way where we can combine the top thing with the bottom thing into kind of a, a cleaner idea. Now, I'm not convinced about the red, of course. It could be black. It can literally be any color you want. I think it will work because we have that white outline. So uh, let's do a failed snap on the left hand, a successful snap on the right hand, and then three claps. <laughs> so really good work, Tayab. Everybody, let me know in the poll right now whether we noobed it, which is bad, or we babooned it, which is great. Yay! This one comes from Julian Hatche. I really like how it gets the point across, like, this is a structure, and then we're applying different colors and textures onto it. I think that's really cool. Now, um, in my experience, drywall and painting logos are most predominantly on, like, vans and t-shirts that the people are wearing 
at the construction site or the home or whatever. One of the ways to market the company, but also to make sure that all the different trade skills on the job site are differentiated. So they wear like different t-shirts a lot of times. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do some changes based on that idea. So one of the things I do is get rid of the gradient because um, it's a little bit hard to put gradients on, on t-shirts like that. And then also I'm gonna simplify the number of colors we have because we actually have the color red when it's on white and then we have the different red when it's on the cream and then we have that for all the different colors. So uh, the change I suggest is making these not uh, see-through. We're just gonna make them 100% thing. You can see our corners are all a little bit messed up here. So let me take this, the cube of eternal paint. I'm gonna get rid of that guy. Just make sure they connect. We're gonna make all these boys connect. Connect four. The black lines aren't quite thick enough. If you zoom out like there, for example, they're a little bit hard to see. So I will add a stroke of perhaps this much. And uh, we do have an issue where our blue and green things are not properly aligned. Let's see if I can find our solution here. And I also think our logo is a little bit too big for our thing. So this way we have some nice little hierarchy going on. I might actually change this font. I think this Vantage looks okay, but this font is a little bit too basic. Okay, Julian, so those are a quick few updates I might suggest to your drywall and a painting logo. I think that if we get rid of the gradient and then we get rid of the transparency, it'll just be a lot easier to like print places and put on things and still have it look pretty good. But that's it. Me and all of the other design champions are wishing you the best of luck with drywall and painting and the painting of drywall. Let's do elbow claps. Let me know in the poll right now whether we vantaged it or disadvantaged it. Mmm, clever, clever. All right, let's move on. Okay, that's it for this week's redesigns. That brings me to this week's winner, which comes to us from Faison Khalid. And uh, he said it's an F and a K. Well, that doesn't look like a K. Anyways, it is uh, these a combination of these things. I chose it because it's really geometrical and it's really clean. What I would change about it is I would just make the yellow a true yellow as opposed to like um, kind of a yellow green that's going on right now. But it's all up to you. The font choice is really interesting. And I like how you have the period at the end. Ooh, very modern, interesting. <laughs> yeah, but good work. Okay, Design Champos, just one winner today. All right, a little update on Design Chicken Chicken. So I've gone through about 350 of the applications, which leaves a little bit over like 160 left. So I'm hoping I can get through all of those the rest of today. Thank you so much for being here. As always, don't forget to fill out uh, uh, the polls and let, me, le let us know how we did. And then we will be able to put together our bracket and we'll have the top two, the top 64 participants. All right, as always, stay awesome, possum. And I'll see you later, alligator, on another video or on the street somewhere. Gucci Guilty out. Peace.